What's up everybody, Mr. Media 82 and Keen Gamer here with another Let's Play video. And in today's Let's Play video, we're going to be taking a special look at Planet Nomads, a game developed by Craneball Studios, due out during the first quarter of 2017. Now, I've tried to play this game a couple times. It's a little confusing for me at first on how I wanted to do this first video, but I think we're gonna go ahead and make this a series. Uh, this will be the first of a three-part series, maybe a four-part, depending on how much support this particular series gets. May even go beyond four. But for now, we're gonna go with this first video being a how to construct a vehicle. It's one of the first things you have to do. So let's go ahead and start a new game. I'm gonna go ahead and call this Planet X. Now Planet Nomads is pretty much a game similar to that of No Man's Sky in which you're on a planet and you have to gather materials in order to either leave the planet or pretty much survive on the planet and in some cases utilize inter interplanet traveling so this is this is uh, what the game looks like right now it's important to note that Planet Nomads is currently in the alpha stage of development so you're gonna see some things that wouldn't necessarily wouldn't excuse me wouldn't necessarily look normal um, for example this blue coat over the mountains and trees in the uh, background over there um, when you get closer, that disappears, but normally in a, uh, release, you don't see that sort of thing. And you'll see some other things along the way as well. So let's go ahead and follow along. So F1 is going to open up our tutorial. And over here, you'll see quite a few things. Okay, you know, flashlight is F, switching the view is V, and so on. Got a lot of, couple of things here that are very useful. So what we're going to go ahead and do is check out the building tab. And this is just letting you know what buttons you can utilize as you build. And here's the tutorial for the vehicle. I'm going to try and take it one step further than what we see here and then the build division basically just lets us know that when we create a vehicle we have to basically make sure everything is connected and it's turned on so with that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and switch the view right now it's first person by pressing the V button you'll notice that I go automatically into third person let me know what you guys think of in the comment section down below if you like third person or first person for me I like to see the field of view a lot more and I feel like I can get that when I'm in third person so let's go ahead and open up F1 we're gonna go to vehicle it says the first thing we're gonna do here is place the jack on the ground now jack is the number two so we're gonna put this guy right there and then we're gonna go ahead and press number three that is cockpit see that's pretty much what it looks like now you can change the direction of how you want it placed if you press the X key you'll change the access so something to keep in mind when you're building I'm gonna go ahead and build the most basic of vehicles if you guys have better vehicles or more um, imaginative vehicles please feel free to share a link in the comment section down below as well so I'm gonna go ahead and press that F1 again it's letting us know that we have to place blocks this is a very simple thing to do number one is blocks so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna put 
Hit some in the front to act as a bumper. I'm going to go ahead and place four over here. Okay. It's looking good so far. I might not be pressing F1 the whole way through due to some of the experience I have. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to place two generators. I haven't tried it with two generators yet, but we're going to go ahead and do that. Press 4 by mistake. Let's go ahead and change the access a little bit. Again. Okay, perfect. and see what we're doing here. Hmm. For some reason it's not going the way I want it to go. We don't need that. Let's go ahead you know what? Let's go ahead and add some more of these bricks real quick. Or these blocks. Alright. That should make a little bit of a difference. Let's change that access. Now you'll notice as I'm doing this, the um, environment is changing. I think it's a little nice feature. But in some cases, I think that the um, environments can change a little too quickly. Let me know what your guys' experience is. Alright, so we got two generators. Let's go ahead and press F1 again. So F1, we got to put the suspension and then the wheels. So I'll do all of that. You guys just follow along. Suspen suspension is button number four. Let's change the access. Go ahead and put that one there. I gotta say, the graphics are pretty polished and are very crisp as I play this game. Let's go ahead and use the uh, flashlight because, you know, when the environment gets a little dark, sometimes it's uh, difficult to see in some cases. And you'll see what I mean in a minute as the environment changes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the wheels on. Now, if I'm moving too slow, caps lock, cap lock makes your um, character move a little bit faster. And not too much faster, but it does a trick, yeah? So, let's go ahead and press F1. Now, the last step after you put the... Uh, wheels on is to remove the jack. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to press number two. And you know what? I fell for this trick the one time. Let me go ahead and just erase block basically is what you want to do. Number seven is like if you're using just the item and it's there to be selected or utilized. Now we're going to go ahead and press tab to bring up the subdivision. Now when you have one generator, you can hook it up to all four wheels. I just want to point that out, but since we have two generators, we're going to do something a little bit different. All right. So what we're going to do here is first set up the wheel the tires. So let's go ahead and change the direction. Okay. Now I would recommend that when you have the tires that you don't enable steering for the back tires. Definitely don't do that. Okay, see it's getting dark and without that flashlight it's going to be really really dark. Okay, so let's go ahead. Everything is looking good. Okay, so let's change the suspension to moderate. I would like to point out that when you change the suspension for one side, 
you have to change it for the other. It doesn't automatically change. I know when I tried the, tried to record the last video, it allowed me to do that, but it doesn't seem to be doing that right now. So let's go ahead and turn on these guys. We're going to turn on the generators. Oh, power off. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. All right, let's go ahead and... Go ahead and connect. What? I'm going to disconnect that. We're going to do the back generator with the back wheels. Okay, so we're going to connect here. And we're going to connect. Let's make sure I have the right generator selected. There we go. So as you can see, the back generator is connected to the back tires. Let's go ahead and connect the electricity to the front. And we should be good to go. Right with this one. Alright, now let's go ahead and test this bad boy out and then I'll show you guys uh, the tools that are available just before the uh, end of the video so look how smooth that driving is it's a little clunky but you know for an alpha for an alpha I have to say that it's very very good I like it and I have to say that the two generators work a lot better than the single generator that I tried to use in the original recording. So this is really cool. Very, very cool. I like that. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. I'll show you guys the tools real quick. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to drive this guy, this car, this vehicle as far as we could. Ooh, that's up there. Let's go ahead and drive in this direction, just to kind of see what the terrain looks like. I mean, the night actually looks good with the flashlight, but when you take the flashlight off, it doesn't really change anything in the vehicle. But when you're as the scientist. Man, it is hard to see. So as you can see here, the driving's not too bad. You got a little stuttering there. Not too much of an issue, but right now I can't really see where I'm going in terms of the background. So I have no sense of direction. Hopefully that's something Craneball Studios can work on. If you want to see a more elaborative first impression of this particular game, you can go ahead and check out my first impressions article that's going to be due, due up shortly after this video is live. And you can look me up on keengamer.com as Mr. Media82 or Call Rocco. As well as check out any other articles for all your gaming needs, news, tips, or guides. Let's go ahead and get out of this car. Well, let's get up the hill so the car doesn't roll down it. Right, we're going to go this way. Should, it, should be good. So we're going to get out of the car. Unfortunately, it's still going down the hill, which I think is weird. Let me know if you guys are experiencing the same thing. Maybe I'll just go down the hill before I get out of the car. A little bit. Should be good right there. Let's press. Let's get out of the car. So I'll show you what I mean. Oh wow! You know what? It's still pretty dark, but the developer must have patched it since the last time I attempted to make a video because it doesn't look as dark anymore, which is really really neat. But we're gonna leave that flashlight, flashlight, excuse me, on anyway. So let's go ahead and check out the tools. Right here is uh, your excavation tool. You know, you can pretty much use it for anything. It's not digging at the ground. 
which is okay. But now it is. So you're kind of digging a little bit. See, and you can kind of give yourself some room here. Now, I haven't been able to find any materials in this game yet, but I know they're out there. I created a little hole, what do you know? So that's the excavation tool. It'll allow you to dig. Now, if you press the T key again, you have a buzzsaw-like edge, and that should allow you to cut down the trees. And there you go. The tree is cut. Now, I think you can cut the rest of it in half. And it just disappears. No materials really uh, render there. Uh, yeah, that's not really a good thing. Hopefully they fix that because, you know, when you gather materials, it usually means you can gather it from any source or for, or for other purposes like firewood and stuff like that. You know, since you got to stay on the planet for an extended amount of time. Let's try this guy out real quick. Yep, nothing. But that is pretty much how to how you build a vehicle. Let's go let's go ahead and recap that. You press F1 and it'll kind of give you the basic tutorial on how to build you know the standard vehicle. Um, you'll see here that the tutorial just lets you put the one generator on there. And that's cool. We use two. Uh, the build the build division excuse build vision, excuse me. Messing up a lot there with my speech today, but regardless. It's important to know that when you're done building your vehicle, that you select each individual part of the vehicle and link it up to the generator in terms of the tires. Now, it's also important to note that when you utilizing this feature, that when you're use, when you're giving your tires direction in which they're going to go, don't put you know the steering on the back tires. I know some of you might be a fan of four-wheel drive, but for this particular car, I wouldn't just because it makes the driving that much worse than what you saw. I thought it was okay, but I personally wouldn't wish steering on all four tires with this vehicle on my worst enemy. Uh, you also want all the tires to go in the same direction, so you do that, and you should be good to go. If you're using, the more, ge the more generators you use, the more you're going to have to independently link the sets of tires to each generator. So generator one will be the front tires, generator two will be the back tires. If you add a third generator, it's important to note that you're going to have three sets of wheels. So, you know, front, middle, back, and etc. And that's, that's pretty much how to build a vehicle in Planet Nomads. Again, Planet Nomads will be out during the first quarter of 2017. And for all your gaming needs, Keep it locked in at KeenGamer.com. And, and for all your gaming needs, you can either look up Mr. Media 82 or just any article for that matter. Till next time.